Hi everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, one of the projects that Cody and I have been discussing since we've been living out here on the ranch is to turn our downstairs basement into a VRBO, an Airbnb, just some kind of rentable space. So we're going to be documenting that process, uh, kind of give you an insider's view of what it's going to be like. We'll tag on either the end of this video or maybe in the next video uh, some before shots of what it's like now. It's been basically used as a storage unit for a while. It's been a real multi-use space uh, on the family ranch here for a long time. And so right now it's kind of full of stuff and unfinished. It's got uh, sheetrock up on one wall, but no tape or mud or texture or anything like that. So you'll get to see the raw before. But we wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you about even the first stages before the first stage. Yes, so just in the last week, Cody's dad came up to help us measure everything out so we could essentially budget out what it is that we needed to finish up this space. And, you know, even though we've been talking about it for so many months, this is the first time it's really, you know, we've crunched the numbers and we're really confronting getting started. And it's funny because the figure that Cody came back with to me was actually what I was hoping for. I was hoping for like three grand or less. And Cody's response to my response was that he was hoping that I would be happier about what he had told me. So I was thinking it was going to be way more. Um, it looks like we can probably do a lot of the finish work for around $3,000. And that just gets an empty shell of a usable space. So that really doesn't include um, flooring or furniture or textures or art or anything that you would expect. All the things we like. Yes, and all the fun <laughs> things. Um, but it's doable. Uh, you know, in the past, we've blogged about our journey to become debt-free, and we were really on track with that. We were 18 months from success on that at the pace that we were at when all the shutdowns started happening. And so since then we've, you know, both lost our jobs and made a move and uh, that pretty much put the brakes on all of that. So this is kind of picking up where we left off to try to continue that debt-free journey. Problem is, is that this investment into this is kind of a big risk for us because it's probably gonna be more than half of our total savings that we have right now and we don't have jobs. <laughs> right. Um, and just to kind of give some perspective, we're working off of a budget monthly these days. That's about a quarter of what we were making before COVID-19 happened, before we moved out here. So, you know, we've been really creative before. We've definitely learned how to tighten our belts. Um, but this is a really different situation. You know, we don't have a lot of certainty, not only in the project itself, but just our monthly income as is. So, um, you know, confronting that we might be spending that large, that much of our savings um, was really worrisome to me. But we've been able to kind of track what the next few months might look like and you know, we're, we're trying a new method with um, paying our bills by just pulling from savings, getting it all paid up front at once as opposed to um, paying each week through our income. Am I explaining that? Yeah, Clearly. so since our income is so <laughs> unstable right now, we're basically taking out of savings at the beginning of the month, paying all of our bills, and then any money that we are able to get in in that month, um, through whatever means, uh, we'll just try to put back into savings. Um, so hopefully we can reduce the amount of savings that we're taking up overall, and then over time reverse that ratio so that we're actually putting more in the bank every month than we're spending, because right now it's gonna be the opposite uh, until we get an income <laughs> going. So that's what this whole project is about. Yes. So wish us luck. And you know that we live in such a gorgeous, amazing part of the state. And we hope that you take advantage of whatever it is that comes out on the other end of this process. And we're going to document the whole thing. Either way, it's going to be cool for you to watch. Um, like she said, we live in a, a beautiful, amazing place. So 
uh, as we're touring the potential apartment, I'll show you around the ranch a little bit too, get to see the pond and the views. We're about a mile high elevation, it's spectacular. So uh, come along for the ride, watch the progress, and hopefully you'll come stay with us in a few months. All right? Yep, see ya.